The U.S. State Department has said that both civil and military officials in the United States endorse a non-military solution for Afghanistan and that Washington is committed to a peace deal between Kabul and the Taliban. U.S. Special Envoy for Afghanistan, Zelmay Khalilzad, is currently in the region on a mission to seek a negotiated settlement to the 17-year-old conflict. The U.S. State Department has said both civil and military officials in the United States believe that there is no military solution to the Afghan conflict and that's why Washington is committed to a peace deal between Kabul and the Taliban. During a news briefing in Washington, State Department spokesperson Heather Norrit said the ongoing visits of U.S. Ambassador Khalilzad in the region show Washington's commitment to a lasting peace agreement. She also refuted reports that Washington wanted to delay the Afghan presidential elections scheduled this year and said U.S. is committed to the overall electoral process and will not interfere. I, I think it shows uh, the fact that Ambassador Khalil Azad is in the, that he's in the region shows our commitment to a lasting peace agreement, uh, hoping that we can facilitate uh, the Afghans and the Taliban coming to some sort of lasting peace agreement. Um, our officials have long said, including the DOD, that we don't see a military solution to this outcome, uh, to this in Afghanistan. U.S. Special Envoy for Afghanistan, Zalmay Khalilzad, is currently in the region on a mission to seek a negotiated settlement to the 17-year-old conflict, which has so far killed about 150,000 persons. This is Khalilzad's third visit to the region in less than two months and takes him to Afghanistan, Pakistan and Qatar as part of a mission to persuade the Taliban to work with the Afghan government for a peaceful settlement.